All right. Um, well, this is a brief introduction to me. Um, I'm Rick. I'm 30. I live in Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan. I'm currently unemployed at the moment, but I'm about to start a new job as a supervisor for case managers up in the Bronx for mental health people. Um, you know, I'm just enjoying this time in between jobs just to figure out what I need in life in general and go from there. Um, I know you MasterChef people had found my food Instagram, so this is a miracle that you guys found me, and now I have to prepare to deal with it. Um, which is something I really do believe in. Um, so I got into cooking when I was young, um, but I didn't really get into cooking until I was about 20 years old. Um, when I had some food at my college that made me throw up blood. And then I had, had a bunch of like unseasoned food from my ex-girlfriend back then, around the same time. Um, I really got into cooking because I knew what bad food was and I never wanted to eat it again. Um, so I just learned recipes on the fly. I did... Um, cook my food for the week instead of going to the dining hall when I was in college and then when I moved out of my mother's house that was a skill that I took with me um I've learned a lot throughout the years since then and started my food Instagram during the pandemic to give myself something to do um but again it was one of those things where um it ended up becoming a passion of mine and I really want to bring that to the MasterChef kitchen and again you know I told Gordon Ramsay um what are you gonna do I'm gonna win well, I am Rick Lopez. Um, this is basically a day in my life. Like right now, I always start my day with some coffee. Um, nothing gets done without it. And I turn into a three headed monster, according to my nephew, when I don't have my coffee. Well, um, one of the things I do is I basically I have a very simple breakfast and I watch cartoons in the morning. And then I start my day. So today, I'm going to be going to the gym to lift some weights. And then going to the beach afterwards just to decompress because I had a lot going on. Um, so you guys are going to be part of my journey today. So after I do what I do in the morning, I go to the gym and lift weights. Um, it's pretty simple because everything all in my basement, so I don't have to go anywhere, which is great. Normally, after every workout, I drink one of these protein shakes with berries and sea moss and this water with creatine in it. Uh, the creatine water is pretty nasty, so I try to chug that as quickly as possible. Other than that, um, this is how I do a workout. I also hate bringing my phone to the gym, so I'm very bad at um, like the photography aspect of it. Uh, excuse me, I just do not like to have my phone in the gym at all. All right, time for me to get out of here and walk my ass to the beach. I think the train's at the beach. Yeah, this is my building where I come from. You know, I'm pretty lucky to be here, but you know, I'm appreciating it nonetheless. What, dude? How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm getting ready to go on MasterChef, actually, so I have to like film everything. What? I'm getting ready to go on MasterChef. Yeah, so I mean, I got like packed like a couple of rounds of auditions, so I'm just like pretty excited about it. Oh, nice. So I have a chance. So I'm just like really looking forward to it. So I have to film everything, if you know what I mean. And I hate doing it, but it's what I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is where my block is. Now I'm walking myself to the train. 
Oh, this is part of my block. Um, sometimes I go to the pool here. Um, actually, this building here is the last place my dad lived before he passed away. So it's kind of cool that I just lived down the street from him. And he always called this block the parade because everything was like... It was always crowded like this no matter what time of day it was. Sometimes I just go to the beach and I just recenter myself. Um, you know, especially like when I'm like feeling overwhelmed, overexcited, or what have you. So I just get on a train like this one and go to the beach. I just, um, this is my neighborhood. I'm in Hell's Kitchen. Uh, not going around this Hell's Kitchen, the actual Hell's Kitchen. Um, turns out the gentrifiers are kind of called Clinton in Midtown West, but I don't know what the hell's wrong with that. Um, well, I'm about to come up on 9th Avenue right now, and that's like the big, uh, busy street over here. You know, it's got a playground, a bunch of fancy hands buildings, and, you know, rich people stuff. I'm actually pretty tired from being in the ocean and working out today, so uh, just bear with me if I yawn, you know why. Also, I have a habit of running whenever like this thing is about to change because I get stuck in Lincoln Tunnel traffic. But again, this is nice Avenue. And this is the street that um, my dad called the parade. So it's always crowded. I'm back home. Um, after a nice long day out, it's time to go home and relax. Um, put everything together and uh, watch the Yankee game. That's probably my plan for tonight. You know, I don't typically do a whole lot at night because I'm not really a night person. So I, I use up most of my energy during the day. I'm back where I started here. Well, my apartment smells really nice right now because I'm actually making pulled pork in my slow cooker. Um, so I'm smelling that. Um, but this is, um, I live in a studio apartment here, so this is it. Pretty straightforward. Um, so I have all my cooking stuff here, my olive oils, um, cast iron, a couple of um, pans and pots, and um, my cooking utensils. Oh shoot, I forgot to put the coffee away, but don't be mad at me for that. That's really it. Not a whole lot to see here. Um, here I have all my spices where I do battle against the unseasoned. And I have a pretty stocked up pantry here where I just have everything I think I would need. And I have some more stuff here, like some nuts and coffee and oatmeal. And I have my rice and beans here. 